They've had an all-star season almost a decade ago. Could there be a second all-star season in the future with past contestants or an all-winner season? How's it going guys? It's Eric Sharkey aka Dance With Stars Superfan back with another video and today we are going to be talking about Derek's idea about a future all-star season. Will it be some past contestants or an all-winner season? Also, if you guys like this video or if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and smash that like button and ring that bell to get notified for more Dance With Stars content for my channel. Two days ago, Derek was reflecting on his Emmy Award nominations during his days as a Dance With Stars pro and he was also giving his predictions on potential all-star contestants or past contestants who won Dance With Stars in the past. As he was reflecting on those moments, something just clicked in his head. Big Brother and Survivor have done all-star seasons in the past, but Survivor has done an all-winner season before, so it is possible in the future that we might get to see an all-star season on Dancing With The Stars. And a Dance With Stars all-winner season? Maybe. In a news article on Variety, like many reality TV series, Dancing with the Stars has also seen success with the all-star format, which invites former contestants to compete again for the Mirrorball Trophy. Derek Huff stated, When I did the all-star season with Sean Johnson, we ended up coming in second. That was honestly one of my favorite seasons, and I was so devastated. A way to tap into that glory, a potential second all-star season, to which Huff wishes to enlist some of the originals. Like season 3 runner-up Mario Lopez, or his season 18 partner Amy Purdy. One format foreign to the series that Huff thinks would offer a fantastic shakeup would feature a cast full of Mirrorball winners. Think Survivor Winners at War, or RuPaul's Drag Race All-Star Season 7. I think that it'd be a really, really competitive season. He divulges that he assumes there have been conversations about an all-winner season of Dancing with the Stars, but isn't sure how serious they have been. When asked to assemble his own cast for a fantasy all-winner season, Huff names his former partners Bindi Irwin and Nicole Scherzinger. He also added, I think Rashad Jennings would love to come back. Donny Osmond, I know he'd probably love to come back too. Even Jordan Fisher, who was fantastic. In my opinion, if they do a second All-Star season, they could have some past champions with some past contestants who want to have another chance and some contestants who want to redeem themselves. I personally would love to have a Redemption All-Star season. The only thing that will not be included into that Redemption All-Star season are Mirrorball champions, which means they will not be eligible to compete. Just an All-Star season with past finalists, semi-finalists, or other contestants who were up who want to have another go at it. For an all-winner season, Derek predicted that it would be a competitive one and one of the former Mirrorball champions will become the first ever double champion, but in the USA version. In the Australian version of Dancing with the Stars, they've had two consecutive all-star seasons and two of the winners became double champions. If they have all of them compete, this season will take longer and everyone will be worn out. I could say the established number of former champions that they will have would be between 12 to 16. I'm not saying that it's going to happen, probably in the near future they could do something like that. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys would like to see either an all-star season or an all-winner season, and what kind of details do you want in each of them. And that'll do it for today's video, so thank you guys so much for watching. This is Eric Sharkey, aka Dance With Stars Superfan, catch you next time.